Want to speak real Korean from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Korean listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? 서점에서 여자가 점원에게 무언가를 부탁하고 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 죄송합니다. 그 선반에 있는 책을 보고 싶습니다. 어떤 책이요? 자동차에 대한 책이요. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 이거요? 네, 맞아요. 여기 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 서점에서 여자가 점원에게 무언가를 부탁하고 있습니다. 그 여자는 어떤 책을 보고 싶어 합니까? 죄송합니다. 그 선반에 있는 책을 보고 싶습니다. 어떤 책이요? 자동차에 대한 책이요. 잠시만 기다려 주세요. 이거요? 네, 맞아요. 여기 있습니다. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hi, welcome to Introduction to Korean. My name is Alicia, and I'm joined by... Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this lesson, you'll learn the basics of Korean pronunciation. Pronunciation refers to the manner in which a word is spoken, so don't focus on reading what's on screen. Instead, focus on listening and repeating. Korean is referred to as a syllable-timed language. What this means is that the syllables in Korean follow each other at regular intervals, usually with the same amount of time allocated for each syllable. 고마워요. 고마워요. Each syllable is pronounced for an equal amount of time. 고마워요. Since Korean is a syllable-timed language, there is no word stress. English, on the other hand, is a stress-timed language. Syllables that are stressed are valued greater than syllables that are unstressed. Individual. The stressed syllable v in individual is deemed more important, so it's pronounced longer than all other syllables. Listen to it again. Individual. This gives English a Morse code-like rhythm, where the pace is sometimes fast and at other times slow. Compare this once again with Korean, which is even throughout. 고마워요. Individual. 고마워요. 고마워요. When pronouncing Korean words, focus on giving equal time to each syllable as you say the characters out loud. There are 10 basic vowel sounds in Korean, which are used to create a total of 21 vowel sound combinations. Let's take a look at how some of the basic vowels are pronounced. Ah. O, O, U, U, E. There are also iotized vowel sounds in Korean. This simply means that there's an added Y sound. Ya, Yo, Yo, Yu. Finally, there are diphthongs, which are two vowels pronounced closely together to form a gliding sound. Wa, Wo. These are some of the basic vowel sounds in Korean. There are 14 basic consonants that produce a total 19 consonant sounds in Korean. All of these sounds are categorized into nasal, plain, aspirated, or tense sounds. You can think of these categories as going from soft to harder sounding consonants. Nasal consonants are consonant sounds which are pronounced through the nose. These consist of M, N, and NG type sounds. N, M, U. Plain consonant sounds are called that because they do not have special features added to them. Think of the T sound in stand or the P sound in span. Ku, tu, bu, su, zu. Aspirated consonant sounds, on the other hand, have an added turbulent sound. These sounds are like the English T sounds in tuck or take or the P in puck. K, 
ku, tu, pu, tsu, hu. Aspirated sounds are pronounced with a big burst of air, unlike plain sounds, which do not have this quality. Compare the two categories of sounds. Gu, ku, du, tu, bu, pu. Tense consonants, also known as double consonants, are pronounced with a stiffer voice. More pressure is built up and it's released much more quickly than plain sounds. Gu, du, bu, su, zu. Korean has a handful of sounds that are similar to English. They're not identical, however, so don't make the mistake of pronouncing them as such. One of the most unique sounds in Korean is the consonant liul. Lu. This consonant is often romanized as an R or an L, but there isn't an equivalent sound in English. Lama. This sound is actually somewhere between an L and an R sound. When pronouncing this sound, your tongue should strike the gum ridge behind your upper teeth in a quick, rapid motion. Listen and repeat after J. Lu. Lu. Lama. Lama. Well done! Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what we've learned. In this lesson, you learn that Korean is a syllable-timed language. You also learn the different categories for vowel and consonant sounds in Korean. And you discover that there are some consonant sounds which do not have an English equivalent. We've covered only the basics of Korean pronunciation. If you're interested in learning more, check out the entire course we created named the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. In that course, we cover and break down all the sounds in the Korean language, showing you mouth and tongue positioning and giving you tips to help you perfect your Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, we'll introduce you to the basics of Korean grammar, where you'll learn about Korean word order and how to build basic phrases in Korean. See you in the next lesson. Bye! 다음에 또 만나요. Want to speak real Korean from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at koreanclass101.com. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean! Okay, let's get started. First is 손 hand 손 손 hand 왼손 left hand 왼손 팔, arm, 팔, 팔, arm, 근육질의 팔, muscular arm. 근육질의 팔 팔 foot 팔 팔 foot 오른발 right foot 오른팔 다리 leg 다리 다리 
leg. Kin tari. Long legs. Kin tari. Songara. Finger. Songara. Songara. Finger. 새끼 손가락 Pinky finger 새끼 손가락 등 Back 등등 Back 등이 아파요. My back hurts. 등이 아파요. 배. Stomach. 배. 배. Stomach. 배가 아파요. My stomach hurts. 배가 아파요. 가슴. Chest. 가슴. 가슴. Chest. 가슴 X-ray X-ray of a chest 가슴 X-ray 1월 January 1월 1월 January 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. It's very cold here in January. 이곳은 1월에 정말 춥습니다. 2월 February 2월 2월 February. 2월은 28일밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. February is the shortest month with 28 days. 2월은 28일밖에 없는 가장 짧은 달입니다. 3월 March. 3월 3월 March 3월 17일 March 17th 3월 17일 4월 April 4월 4월 April 4월 1일 April 1st 4월 1일 5월 May 5월 5월 May 5월의 꽃 May flowers 5월의 꽃 
you are June you are you are June 우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. We are getting married in June. 우리는 6월에 결혼할 것입니다. 7월 July 7월 7월 July 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. July is one of seven months with 31 days. 7월은 31일이 있는 일곱 개의 달 중에 하나입니다. 8월 August 8월 8월 August 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. The school is closed in August. 학교는 8월에 닫습니다. 9월 September 9월 9월 September 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. Today is Saturday, September 10th. 오늘은 9월 10일 토요일입니다. 10월 October 10월 10월 October 할로윈은 10월 30일입니다. Halloween falls on October 31st. 할로윈은 10월 31일입니다. 11월 November 11월 11월 November 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일입니다. Thanksgiving Thursday, November 24th 추수감사절은 11월 24일 목요일 입니다. 12월 December 12월 12월 December 12월 31일은 새해 전날입니다. December 31st is New Year's Eve. 10 2월 31일은 새해 전날입니다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time. 잘 가요. You are sitting on a train that is about to arrive at the next train station. Suddenly, a notice appears on the display. What does the message on the display mean?
What does the message on the display mean? The display reads, the next stop is the last stop. 다음 역은 종점입니다. Imagine you're in a Korean restaurant. You are ready to order and need to get the waiter's attention. What do you say? 안녕하세요, 이재입니다. Jay here. Anyone can learn how to order food in a Korean restaurant. In this lesson, you'll learn how. Mark and Karen are getting ready to order at a Korean restaurant. Let's watch. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Now with English. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Here are the keywords from the scene. 주문, 주문, order, 주문, 주문. 주문, 셀프, 셀프, 셀프 서비스, 셀프, 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 물, 물, 워터, 물, 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 김치. 김치, 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 순두부, 순두부, 소프트푸, 순두부, 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 찌개. 찌개, soup, stew, 찌개, 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 더, 더, more, 더, 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 아주머니, 아주머니, casual way to say Mrs. 아주머니 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 드리다 드리다 to give 드리다 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 And now a breakdown of some of the Korean you heard in the scene. And the scene, how did Mark order? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. It means one kimchi stew and one soft tofu stew, please. When you order food, first say the name of the food. For example, kimchi jjigae if you want to have kimchi stew. Then say how many you need, for example, hana for one, duge for two, sege for three. Then simply add juseyo, which literally means please give. 
If you want to order two kimchi stews, you can say 김치찌개 두개 주세요. When you order two or more items, you can connect food names with the word 랑, which means end. Using this pattern, if you want to order one kimchi and one bowl of rice, you can say 김치 하나 랑, 밥 하나 주세요. Now you try. Say Mark's line. 뭘로 드릴까요? What did Mark say when he wanted to get more kimchi? 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. 김치 좀 주세요. It means, please give me more kimchi. Mark wanted to get more kimchi, so he said the word kimchi first. As you know, Kimchi is the name of a very common Korean side dish. This phrase ends with the verb 주세요. It's an honorific form of the verb 주다, which means to give. In this line, Mark also uses the word 좀. In this context, it's used to ask more politely. If you don't use the word 좀 and just say 김치 주세요, 김치 please, it sounds a bit rude because it's very direct. By adding the word 좀, you can make your request less direct and therefore more polite. Now you try. Say Mark's line asking for more kimchi. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Now the lesson focus. Here's how to order food at a Korean restaurant. Korean restaurants are a little different from other types of restaurants. When you're ready to order in a Korean restaurant, you simply need to raise your hand and say 저기요, which means excuse me there. If you're eating in a traditional Korean restaurant, it's normal to address the female staff in the restaurant as 아주머니 if they are over the age of 30. To male staff, you can use 아저씨, Listen again to what Mark said. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. If it is too loud for the waiters to hear you, call the staff again. It's not rude. Some of the most popular Korean dishes people order are kimchi jjigae or kimchi stew and sundubu jjigae or stew with soft tofu. These foods are a bit spicy, so if you don't like spicy foods, look for a dish called bulgogi. Bulgogi is sliced and seasoned barbecued beef. This is another popular dish among foreigners. If you are not quite sure what to order, ask the waiter, 여기 뭐가 가장 맛있어요? It means, what's the most delicious food here? And they will tell you a few of their most popular dishes. When you finally decide on what to order, say the name of the food you want and say, 주세요. Listen to what Mark said. 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. Simply say the name of the food and add 주세요, meaning please give. If you just need one kimchi stew, for example, you can say 김치찌개 하나 주세요. Most dishes are served with a serving of rice and assorted side dishes for free. These side dishes are called 반찬. They can be refilled for free. You can get more by saying the food name and 좀더 주세요. For example, if you need more kimchi, you can say 김치 좀더 주세요. Please give us more kimchi. If you need a bottle of water, say 물좀더 주세요. It means please give me a bottle of water. Sometimes restaurants have a sign that says 물은 셀프입니다. This literally means water is for self-service. They post it to say you should pour your own water, so look around first for the sign before you ask them to bring water. Now it's time to practice your new ability. You're in a traditional Korean restaurant and you've called the waitress over. Ready? Here we go. You want to order one kimchi stew. How will you order? Kimchi jjigae hana juseyo. You've run out of side dishes and need them refilled. What should you say?
김치 좀더 주세요. Great job. 김치찌개 하나 주세요. 김치 좀더 주세요. 잘했어요. Now, watch the scene one more time. After that, you'll be ready to order food at a Korean restaurant. 안녕히 계세요. 아주머니, 여기 주문이요. 뭘로 드릴까요? 김치찌개 하나랑 순두부찌개 하나 주세요. 아, 물도 하나 주세요. 물은 셀프입니다. 아주머니, 저희 김치 좀더 주세요. Proper pronunciation is essential in Korean, and in this series, you'll learn it in a fast, comprehensive, and easy way. In this first lesson, you'll learn two key points for mastering Korean pronunciation. The first key point is to master the pronunciation of 24 basic Korean letters. The Korean alphabet has 14 basic consonants and 10 basic vowels. One letter represents each of these sounds. These are then written out in blocks to form each syllable. Here's a sample character. This block has two letters, one on top and one at the bottom. The letter on top is the consonant N. Below it is the vowel U. Combined, you read the block NU. Listen to the native Korean speaker. NU, U, NU. You can add another letter to the bottom of this block. Compare the top and bottom letters. Can you read the block? The bottom letter is the N sound, just like the top letter. Combining these with the vowel in the middle, you pronounce the whole block NUN, which means I in Korean. You will see many different block arrangements in Korean, but once you master the pronunciation of the 24 basic letters, you can read any of these blocks in Korean. The second key point is, each syllable in Korean is pronounced for the same length of time with equal stress. For example, when you say camera in English, you put stress on ka and say it for longer than the other syllables of the word. Camera. But in Korean, each syllable is pronounced for the same amount of time and gets equal stress. Listen to the word camera in Korean. Camera. This principle applies throughout the entire sentence, not just for individual words. Listen to the Korean sentence. 이것은 카메라입니다. Now to close this lesson, here's a question for you. Why should you, including advanced speakers, spend time on learning proper pronunciation? The answer, you will be understood, and this will help you build more confidence as you communicate in Korean. For beginners, you're on the path to learning proper pronunciation. And for more advanced students, this is a chance to finally master Korean pronunciation. Now you know the basics of Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll learn the top five pronunciation mistakes that Korean learners make. You'll want to avoid these at all costs, so please stay tuned. What is the hardest part of Korean pronunciation? Tell us about it in the comments. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. 실례하지만 한국어 하세요? If you understood this, you can say 예, yeah, meaning yes. In the last lesson, we learned the phrase 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me, do you speak English? This uses the phrase 실례하지만, one way to say excuse me in Korean. 
Today, we are going to learn several ways to apologize in Korean. Are you ready? Let's start. First is, 실례합니다. It means, excuse me. If you want to add something to the end, to it get to, 실례하지만. Excuse me, but... Here, 실례 means excuse, and 합니다 means to do. So, 실례합니다 means do excuse or excuse me. If you change 합니다 with 하지만, which means but, you can say 실례하지만. It means excuse me, but. Saying 실례합니다 doesn't mean you've done something wrong. It just means you have a question or favor to ask that may require someone to take some trouble for you. If you've actually done something rude, or if you made mistakes, you use a different phrase. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. This is the phrase you would use if you ever bumped into somebody on the street in Korea. 죄송합니다. If you say 실례합니다 in this situation, the person you bumped may not get that you're apologizing and may instead think that you bumped them on purpose to ask a favor. How about saying excuse me to get a waiter or bartender's attention? Koreans use a couple of different phrases for that. The first is 여기요. 여기요. That means over here, please. It may sound a little rude in English, but in Korean it's fine. Another version that sounds slightly more polite is 저기요. 저기요. That means excuse me, you there. It may sound even more rude in English, but in Korean, it's no problem. When the waiter is away from you, you can use this phrase, 저기요. You don't have to wait for the waiter to come to you. Just speak up with 여기요 or 저기요. Between friends, you can say 미안해. Sorry. 미안해. 미안해 is an informal way to apologize to someone. Using mian instead of chesong suggests that you've hurt someone's feelings, not just inconvenience them. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Want to sound more sincere when you apologize? Just add 정말, which means truly. 정말 미안합니다. I'm truly sorry. 정말 미안합니다. You can use 정말 with 미안합니다 and 죄송합니다, but not with 실례합니다. Do you know anything about counting in Korean? How about the name of this series? 3분 한국어 See, you already know a number, 3, which means 3. In the next lesson, we will learn how to count from 1 to 10 in Korean. I'll be waiting for you in our next 3분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요, 다음에 봐요. Love these lessons? Want more? You'll find the rest of the Korean writing lessons on koreanclass101.com. So sign up for your free lifetime account and unlock the full course in seconds. You also get audio and video lessons that get you speaking from your very first lesson and teach you real conversations. You'll get PDF lesson notes, cheat sheets, study tools, and much more. Click the link in the description below and sign up for your free lifetime account. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is... 안녕하세요. 
Hello. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Hello. 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello. How have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me. How much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 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 Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. Yes, this one, please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요? No. 아니요? 아니요? No. 아니요? 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해 줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 
저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 Good 좋은 좋은 Good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 Pretty 예쁜 예쁜 Pretty 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 못생긴 Ugly 못생긴 얼굴 Ugly face 못생긴 얼굴 쉬운 Easy 쉬운 쉬운 Easy 쉬운 시험 Easy exam 쉬운 시험 어려운 Difficult 어려운 어려운 Difficult 어려운 문제 Difficult problem 어려운 문제 가까이에 Near 가까이에 가까이에 Near 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far 멀리 멀리 f 
far. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae-hui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean phrases. Okay, let's see what we have first. 안녕하세요. Hello. This is the greeting that you can use for the formal situation. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, 만나서 반갑습니다, which means hello, it's nice to meet you. Or with your friend, you can just say 안녕 without 하세요, just to say hello to your friend. 여보세요. Hello on the phone. You have to use a different phrase when you want to say hello on the phone. So say, 띠리리리링, 안녕, 네, 안녕하세요. 띠리리리리, 여보세요, 여보세요. That's, <laughs> so you cannot say 안녕하세요 when you're talking on the phone. It sounds weird. 오랜만이에요, long time no see. When you just do shopping in the department store and you see someone you haven't met for a long time, you can just say 오랜만이에요 to mean Long time no see. Or with friend, you can say 오랜만이야. Long time no see. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. Actually, it literally means please sleep well. So you can use this phrase only with someone who is living together with you, like your parents. So to your parents, 안녕히 주무세요. <laughs> so at night, you can say 안녕히 주무세요. Then your parents should be, and then you'll be, 잘 자. Good night. So, 잘자 is informal way to say good night. So, to your wife, to your husband, brother, or sister, you can just say 잘자, and then you can just go back to sleep. 안녕히 계세요. Goodbye. There are two ways to say goodbye. This one is the one that you can use when you leave. Let's say you are invited to someone's house. You had a really great time. You leave. In that case, you can say 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 가세요. Goodbye. Let's say you are the host of the party, you invited everyone to your home, had a really great time, and then everyone is leaving now. You want to say 안녕히 가세요, because you stay, everyone else is leaving. For example, you can say 안녕히 가세요, 와주셔서 감사합니다, which means goodbye, thank you for coming. 만나서 반가워요, nice to meet you. When you meet someone for the first time, you can say 안녕하세요, then say 만나서 반가워요. Or if someone is younger than you, you can just say 만나서 반가워 in informal way. So for those who, who just watched the video of me for the first time, let me say 만나서 반가워요. 모르겠어요. I do not know. Let's say on the street, you're in Seoul, someone asks you something in Korean you don't know, you have no idea what he's talking about. Then you can just simply say 모르겠어요. I do not know. In informal way, 모르겠어. 감사합니다. Thank you. Let's say you got a gift, and you can say 선물 감사합니다. Thank you for the gift. So you can just simply say 감사합니다 or the noun plus 감사합니다 to mean thank you for something. 고맙습니다. Thank you. You can say 감사합니다 or 고맙습니다 to say thank you, but if you want to make it sound more friendly, you can say 고맙습니다. 선물 고맙습니다. Thank you for the gift. 초대 감사합니다. Thank you for the invitation. 잠깐만 기다려 주세요. Wait a moment, please. Let's say you're late and you see your boss is about to leave. <웃음> 잠깐만 기다려 주세요. 
죄송합니다. Sorry. 아, 죄송합니다. 아, 있어. 아, 죄송합니다. 미안합니다. Sorry. Don't use this when you make a big mistake. But if it is not big, then you can just say 미안합니다. That's enough. So when you bump on the someone on the street, then you can say this. 아, 미안합니다. Because it's not a big mistake. 알겠습니다. I understand. So let's say you made a huge mistake at your company and your boss will be like, 너 지금 뭐 하는 거야? 마, 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 You can say, after listening to everything, you can say, 알겠습니다. I understand. 뻥, 뻥. 선생님 질문 있어요. 선생님 이름이 뭐예요? 아, 알겠습니다. 잘 다녀오세요. Have a good journey. You can say that to those who are going to take a big trip, but usually we also use that um, to a father who is about to go to work, and we just say, 잘 다녀오세요. 좋은 하루 되세요. Have a nice day. 잘 다녀오세요 literally means, please go out and come back safely. So you can say only when someone is leaving and you are staying in and waiting for that person. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 이름이 뭐예요? <웃음> 이름이 뭐예요? 재휘예요. 아, 네. 이름이 뭐예요? 재휘입니다. 아, 알겠습니다. 이름이 뭐예요? What's your name? 제 이름은 응응입니다. My name is... <웃음> My name is... <웃음> 제 이름은 이재휘입니다. My name is 이재휘. 안녕. 어서 오세요. Welcome. So you got into the store and you're here. 어서 오세요. Or... 어서오세요! Or you got a guest coming into your place. You can say 어서오세요. Welcome. 실례합니다. Excuse me. You have to catch your bus and you have to go through the crowd. Then you have to say 실례합니다. 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 When you want to ask a question, you cannot say 실례합니다. Then your question. 잘 먹겠습니다. I will eat well. Thank you for the meal. You're at the restaurant. You got a lot of food and you're about to eat. Before you eat, you have to say 잘 먹겠습니다. Even if you're alone, you have to say 잘 먹겠습니다. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 잘 먹었습니다. I ate well. Thank you for the meal. 아, 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 아. 후, 잘 먹었습니다. When you leave a restaurant, you can say 잘 먹었습니다 to the staff to say thank you for the meal. 맛있게 드세요. Bon appetit. Let's say this is the food that I made with seaweed, huge seaweed. Oh, 맛있게 드세요. 맛있게 드세요. 잘 먹겠습니다. I'm hungry. 이거 얼마예요? How much is this? So you go to shopping, you found the item you really want to have, and then you can say, 이거 얼마예요? 저거 얼마예요? 그거 얼마예요? Then you get the price, but don't accept that. You have to try the discount. Say 깎아주세요 to get your discount. That's all top 25 Korean phrases. Thank you for watching it and please make sure to subscribe. 좋은 하루 보내세요. Have a nice day. 아, 잘 먹겠습니다. 이거 재밌게 할것 In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, Stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started! First is... 오늘 Today 오늘 오늘 today 오늘의 숙제 today's homework 
오늘의 숙제 어제 yesterday 어제 어제 yesterday 어제 아침 yesterday morning 어제 아침 내일 tomorrow 내일 내일 tomorrow 내일 봐요 See you tomorrow. 내일 봐요. 주 week 주 주. week 이번 주는 바빠요. I'm busy this week. 이번 주는 바빠요. 년 year 년년 년. year 1년 1 year 1년 초 second 초 초. 세컨드 1분에는 60초가 있습니다. There are 60 seconds in a minute. 1분에는 60초가 있습니다. 분 minute 분분 분. 미니트 3분 3 minutes 3분 시간 hour 시간 시간 hour 저는 매일 8시간을 잡니다. I sleep for 8 hours every day. 저는 매일 8시간을 잡니다. Sige clock 시계 시계 clock 알람 시계 alarm clock 알람 시계 정각 o'clock 정각 정각 o'clock 아홉 시 정각에 역에서 만나요. Let's meet at the station at nine o'clock. 아홉 시 
정각에 역에서 만나요. 달력 calendar 달력 달력 calendar 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. I marked our anniversary on the calendar. 달력에 우리 기념일을 적어 놨어요. 월요일 Monday 월요일 월요일 Monday 월요일에는 회사에 가요. I go to work on Monday. 월요일에는 회사에 가요. 화요일 Tuesday. 화요일 화요일 Tuesday. 1월 1일 화요일 Tuesday, January 1st 1월 1일 화요일 수요일 Wednesday 수요일 수요일 Wednesday 18일 수요일 Wednesday the 18th 18일 수요일 목요일 Thursday 목요일 목요일 Thursday 1월 3일 목요일 Thursday, January 3rd 1월 3일 목요일 금요일 Friday 금요일 금요일 Friday 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? Are you free this Friday? 이번 주 금요일에 시간 있어요? 토요일 Saturday 토요일 토요일 Saturday 토요일 밤 Saturday night 토요일 밤 일요일 Sunday 일요일 일요일 Sunday 일요일 아침 식사 Sunday morning breakfast 일요일 아침 식사 하다 Do 하다 하다 Do 숙제를 하다 Do homework 숙제를 하다 가다 Go 가다
kata go 공원에 가다 go to the park 공원에 가다 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Hi everyone, I'm Jae Hui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean nouns. Okay, let's see what we have first. Cup, a thing or an object. So when you're doing some shopping, you like something that you like, that you don't like, then you can say, 저는 이것이 좋아요, but 저는 저것이 싫어요. I don't like this, I don't like that. Su, way, method, number. It has three different meaning, method, way, numbers. For example, 사람 수가 많이 있다. In that case, 수 means number. And if you're in a big trouble and you don't know what to do, you can also say 수가 없다. 나, I. So this is the informal way to say I as a pronoun. So you can say 나는 나야. <laughs> I myself. <laughs> 나는 김치가 좋아. 나는 한국이 좋아. 나는 한국 사람이 좋아. Can be a good examples. But when you talk with someone older than you, you cannot say 나. Instead, you have to say 저, which is formal version to say I. 사람, person. When you talk about a person, don't use God because God is for a thing. So you cannot say 이것이 좋아 when you talk about someone you love. Uh, instead, you can say 이 사람이 좋아. 사람 means person. 우리, we or our. It literally means our or we, but even if it's only about myself talking about my country, then I will say 우리나라, meaning our country. Even though you are not Korean, I will just say our country, 우리나라, when talking about Korea. Even with your friend, you can say 우리 가족, literally meaning our family, even though you want to mean my family. The way to improve your Korean first is to use 우리 more often. 그, he, that. We usually don't use 그 or he, 그녀, she, when we make sentences because it doesn't sound natural to use a specific pronoun about the person. So when you hear 그, you can just think that it's about that, that person, 거, thing. This is a little bit casual way to say 것, which also means thing. 그거 주세요, 저거 주세요, 이거 싫어요, 저거 좋아요. When you talk with a friend, you just use 거, not 것. 년, year. So when you talk about year in Korean, you have to use this noun after numbers. For example, 2001년, the year of 2001. You cannot simply say 2001. So with the word, you can say 저는 3년 전에 서울에 왔습니다, which means I came to Seoul three years ago. 한, one or single. So when you want to talk about one something, like one place, one person, you can use this word with the other noun. For example, 한 사람, one person, 한 곳, a place. 말, words. When you talk about Korean, you can say 한국어, um, but also you can say 한국말, which literally means Korean words. So when you want to say I learn Korean, you can say both 한국어를 공부합니다 and 한국말을 공부합니다. So, and there's another word meaning horse with the same pronunciation, so make sure you understand it correctly. 일, work. So when Korean people want to ask you what is your job or what do you do, um, they will say 무슨 일 하세요? So here, 일 was used to mean work. And also Korean people have a lot of work. Usually they work like more than 10 hours a day. They also have a lot of work to do. So in the case, I can say 저도 일이 많이 있어요. <laughs> 시, honorific suffix to mean Mr, Miss, Mrs. 
So let's say you want to call someone who is not your friend but whom you know their name. In that case, you can simply say their name and put she. But make sure that you don't put family name there like you do in English. You have to put their first name. So my family name is E. So if you just call me Ishi using my family name and that honorific suffix, it sounds rude. So don't do that. You can just call me um, Jehuishi using my first name instead of family name. We have another suffix, nim, which is more formal than she. So you can use it when you call your teacher, like saying 선생님, 일, day. It has the same pronunciation of the word meaning work. Usually you can use it when you read the date. For example, you can say 7월 2일 to mean July 2nd. Or you can also find this word in the word like nail, meaning tomorrow, and say 내일 이좋아요, which means tomorrow is good. 사회, society. Korean people talk a lot about politics, and in that case, we use 사회 a lot. So if someone is critical about the situation going around um, Korean society, he might say, 한국 사회에는 문제가 많이 있다. Or someone would say, 한국 사회는 살기 좋다. 그것, that thing. So it has two words that we learned earlier. 그, meaning that. 것, meaning thing. So for example, when you don't know how to read something in Korean, you can just say, 그것 어떻게 읽어요? 집, house, home. So if you're in Korea, you might hear some phrases like 우리 집에 놀러 와. So 집 literally means house, home. So even though you want to say my home, make sure to use the pronoun 우리 and say 우리 집. 문제, problem. For example, like when you take a test and the questions are so difficult, you can say 문제가 너무 어려워. 저, that. You can use this pronoun when you talk about something away from you. So when you do shopping and the item you want to have is far away from you, then you can say 저거 속, inside. So usually you can use it when you talk about something inside of something. For example, 가방 속에 뭐가 있어요? Meaning what's inside your bag. And there's another word meaning inside, which is 안, to mean the same. 대, place. For formal situation, we use 곧. But for casual, like informal, we use 대. For example, 먹을 대, placed it. 경우, case. To make you look more smart, you can use this word. For example, 이 경우, this case. 저 경우, that case. 중, center. So you can use this word when you want to say in the middle of something. For example, you can say 한국 음식 중에 뭐가 가장 좋아요? Uh, which literally means in the middle of Korean food, which one do you like the most? So usually it's used with a group of something. 자신, oneself. Unlike the English word oneself, like we usually use it when we give the advice. For example, 너 자신을 알라, which means you should know yourself. Usually we also use this word to mean confidence and say 자신 있다. One, Korean one. In Korean, you have to say won every time when you talk about money. For example, 2만 won, 2천 원. So when you want to exchange US dollar to won, you can just simply say 달러를 원으로 바꿔주세요. 사랑, love. In Korea, we usually try to be a little bit indirect when talking about love. So we usually use the phrase something like 사랑하는 사람, which means people who I love. So with the one, um, you can say 사랑해, I love you, or 사랑합니다, I love you formally. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean nouns that we have in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. <laughs>
When speaking Korean, make sure to lower the pitch of the last syllable in the sentence. Listen to an example. Kumawa. She kept the same pitch for the first and second syllable, but lowered the tone for the last syllable. Listen to another example. Saranghyo. Saranghyo. Number two, pronouncing imported words with a foreign accent. Listen to a word that is commonly used in Korean. Computer. Can you guess what it means? It's the word for computer. It sounds similar to its English counterpart, but there are important differences. If you pronounced it like you would in English, you would be hard to understand. Listen to two other examples. Orange. Hat. The difference in pronunciation may sound small to you, but unless you say them with a native Korean accent, Koreans won't understand what you mean. Number three, overstressing syllables when speaking Korean. Try saying this English sentence out loud. I like bulgogi. Pay attention to the stresses. If you pronounce sentences like this in Korean, it will sound very unnatural. Listen to the native speaker say this sentence in Korean. 불고기가 좋아요. Native speakers do not place stress on any particular syllable. Try saying the sentence without stressing syllables. 불고기가 좋아요. Number four, using an R sound. This letter is often represented as an R or an L but you do not pronounce it this way. In fact, there is no equivalent sound in English for it. Listen to a word that uses this letter. 사랑 사랑 It sounds closer to an L than an R in English. Listen again carefully. 사랑 사랑 We'll learn more about this in lesson six, so don't worry about it too much. Number five, reading bakchim as they are written. When reading blocks of Korean letters, you'll often find one written at the bottom of a block, like this one. This position is called bakchim, and letters in this position sometimes follow different pronunciation rules. Usually, a letter's pronunciation remains constant. When it is in the bakchim position, however, it sometimes changes. In this case, the letter, which is usually an S sound, becomes a T sound. Listen to the native speaker pronounce the letter in two different blocks. In the second one, she will pronounce it in the bachim position. Sa, sa. This principle applies to all consonants, except for a special group of nasal ones. Whenever these consonants are placed in the bachim position, you will need to pronounce them differently. Here's another example. This letter usually makes an H sound. In the bachim position, you need to read it as T. Listen to the native speaker. In this block, the letter appears both in the top and in the bachim position. Hat. Hat. We'll cover this in greater detail in lesson 10. You're on the path to mastering Korean pronunciation. In the next lesson, you'll master the seven Korean vowels. What's your biggest challenge with Korean pronunciation? Is it one of these top five mistakes? Let us know in the comments. Stick with us and you'll overcome it quickly. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everyone, welcome to the Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide. So far, we've introduced you to the basics and covered the top five mistakes Korean learners make and how to avoid them. In this lesson, you'll learn how to pronounce Korean vowels correctly. Do you remember there are 10 basic vowels in Korean? In this lesson, you're going to learn seven vowels that sound similar to vowels in English. Here's the first vowel. Ah. Open your mouth wide as if you were at the dentist and relax your tongue. Then try to say, ah. Ah. Ah.
a a the next vowel is o think of the o sound in orange round the lips as if you're surprised o o o o and the next vowel is o Purse your lips as though you are about to whistle or blow up a balloon, or say ooh as in blue. Ooh. 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 The lips are more relaxed for the Korean ooh sound than the English ooh. Compare the Korean ooh. With English, ooh. 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 The next vowel is e. Open your mouth as if you are trying to show your teeth and say the letter e. Say it like the e in meat, but shorter. E. 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 Now review the four vowels that we've just learned so far. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. A. Ah. A. Ah. O. 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 E. E. Okay, now let's move on. The next three vowels you will learn look like this. These three vowels look very similar to the ones that you just learned. The only difference is that they each have an extra stroke attached to them. Listen to how the pronunciation of the vowels change when the small stroke is added. Ah. Uh, yeah. This small stroke adds a Y sound to the beginning of the original sound. Compare the pronunciation of these two letters once again. Ah. Uh, yeah. When you say this letter, don't pronounce the Y sound for too long. Listen to the pronunciation again. Yeah. 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 The next vowel is U. Take the original oo sound and add a Y to make U. Together, they sound almost the same as U in English, but with a shorter Y. U. 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 And the next vowel is yo. Again, add a short Y sound to the O. Listen to the pronunciation again. Yo. 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 Now review the three basic vowels that have Y at the beginning. Repeat each vowel after hearing the pronunciation from our native speaker. Ya. Ya. You. You. Yo. Yo. Make sure you master these sounds because you'll need these vowels to properly speak in Korean. Was seeing the pronunciation illustrations helpful? Please comment and share your thoughts. We'll learn the rest of the vowels which have no English equivalent in our next lesson. See you in the next Ultimate Korean Pronunciation Guide lesson. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. 
Welcome back to KoreanClass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean Two lessons ago, we learned to count from 1 to 10 using Chinese numbers In the last lesson, we learned the whole other way to count from 1 to 10 using native Korean numbers Do you remember all these numbers? Let's see if you can recall the native ones first 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열 Great job! And how about the Chinese numbers? Do you remember those? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 Phew, That's a lot of numbers! But I bet you are wondering what comes next, right? Well, if you think about it 11 is just 10 plus 1. How would you say that in Korean? No need to overthink it. 10, 10 plus 1, 1 equals 11. So 11 is 11. And how about 12? 10, 10 plus 2, 2 equals 12. So 12 is 12. Seem too easy to be true? It's not. And it doesn't get any harder when you hit 20. 20 is really just two tens. Multiply two e by 10, 10 to get 20, e 10. Just as you'd expect. 30 is 30, 40 is 40, and so on. Now that you know how to count tens, you can make it all the way to 99. For example, I bet you can tell me the Korean word for 87, even though we haven't counted nearly that high yet. Can you? First, we need to say 80. 80 is 8 tens, so 80 is 80. Finally, say the word for 7. 7. 87 is 87. Let's learn one more word. The Korean word for 100 is 100. 100. Can you guess how to say 150 in Korean? 100 is 100. And 50 is so 150 is? That's right, it's 150. And I'm sure you can figure out how to say 250. 250. Great job! Now it's time for Amy's insights. You just learned how to count above 10 for Chinese numbers, but it works the exact same way for native numbers. 11 is 열 하나. 열 is 10. And hana is one. Twelve is yol dur. Yol is ten, and dur is two, and so on. In the next lesson, we're going to learn the handy phrase ormayo. Do you know what it means? We'll see this phrase and many others that will help you shop. I'll be waiting for you in our next Sambun Hangugo lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean In the last lesson, we learned how to thank people by saying 감사합니다 and 고마워 In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in Korea Are you ready? Then let's start! The most common informal greeting is 안녕 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 means peace We say it when we meet someone and also when we leave but only to a friend or someone younger than us The more standard greeting that you will hear a lot in Korea is 안녕하세요 안녕하세요 Literally, 안녕하세요 means are you at peace? We use it to say hello when we meet someone it's technically a question, but we don't always say it that way. 안녕하세요 Because 안녕하세요 is a question, some people answer it with 예, which means yes, before replying with the same question 안녕하세요. 
When it's time to leave, we have a couple different ways to say goodbye. If you're leaving and the other person is staying, say, 안녕히 계세요. 안녕히 계세요. 계세요 means please stay. So, 안녕히 계세요 literally means please stay peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 계세요 is 잘 있어. 잘 means well and 있어 means stay informally. So, 잘 있어 just means stay well. 잘 있어. If the other person is leaving, say 안녕히 가세요. 안녕히 가세요. 가세요 means please go. So, 안녕히 가세요 literally means please go peacefully. A casual version of 안녕히 가세요 is 잘 가. 잘 means well and 가 means go informally. So, 잘 가 just means go well. Now, you know lots of ways to greet people in Korean. Let's review them all once again. To greet someone casually, 안녕. To greet someone respectfully, 안녕하세요. To say goodbye respectfully when you're leaving and the other person is staying, 안녕히 계세요. To say goodbye casually when you're leaving, 잘 있어. To say goodbye respectfully when the other person is leaving, 안녕히 가세요. To say goodbye casually when the other person is leaving, 잘 가. During the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase 영어를 할수 있어요? Do you already know it? We'll be waiting to talk about it with you in our new 3분 한국어 lesson. 여러분 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 core Korean words and phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is 웃다, laugh, 웃다, 웃다, laugh. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. The couple is laughing at a joke. 커플이 농담에 웃었다. 맛있어요. Delicious. 맛있어요. 맛있어요. Delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. Chinese food is delicious. 중국 음식은 맛있어요. 물 water 물 물 water 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? Can I have some water, please? 물좀 마실 수 있을까요? 차 tea 차 
ta t ta han jan ha s i g e s m i k a would you like a cup of tea ta han jan ha s i g e s m i k a coffee 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 han jan cup of coffee coffee han jan 맥주 beer 맥주 맥주 beer 차가운 맥주 cold beer 차가운 맥주 포도주 wine 포도주 포도주 wine 포도주 한잔 glass of wine 포도주 한잔 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 쇠고기 beef 쇠고기 스테이크 beef steak 쇠고기 스테이크 테이크 닭고기 chicken 닭고기 닭고기 chicken 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다. chicken can be fried, baked or roast 닭고기는 튀길 수도 있고 구울 수도 있습니다 돼지고기 pork 돼지고기 돼지고기 pork 포크는 돼지고기입니다 Pork is the meat from a pig. Pork는 돼지고기입니다. 생선 Fish 생선 생선 Fish 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? Chicken or fish? 닭고기와 생선 요리 중 무엇을 드시겠습니까? 양고기 Lamb 양고기 양고기 lamb 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. lamb is extremely delicious. 양고기는 대단히 맛있습니다. 의사 doctor 의사 
의사 doctor 혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. If you get sick, go to the doctor. 혹시 몸이 아프면 의사에게 진찰을 받으세요. 경찰관 police officer 경찰관 경찰관 police officer 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. I will ask a police officer for help. 경찰관에게 도움을 청할게요. 선생님 teacher 선생님 선생님 teacher 영어 선생님 English teacher 영어 선생님 직원 employee 직원 직원 employee 여직원 female employee 여직원 오다 come 오다 오다 come 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다. The girl came towards the video camera. 여자아이가 비디오 카메라를 향해 온다. 보다 see 보다 보다 see 관광객이 일몰을 보았다. The tourist saw the sunset. 관광객이 일몰을 보았다. 만들다. Make. 만들다. 만들다. Make. 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다. The chef makes orange juice. 요리사가 오렌지 주스를 만든다. 사용하다. Use. 사용하다. 사용하다. Use. 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다. The programmer is using a computer. 프로그래머가 컴퓨터를 사용하고 있다. Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! Amy, 
Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to KoreanClass101.com 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Korean, including 죄송합니다 and 미안해. In this lesson, we are going to learn some numbers. Yes, numbers. 숫자. There are actually two systems of counting in Korean. In this lesson, you are going to learn the Chinese-based numbers 1 to 10. And you are going to learn them in only 3 minutes. 3분. Are you ready? Then let's start. 1. 1. 1. 2. 2. 3. 3. 3. 4. 4. 4. 5. 5. 5. 6. 6. 6. 7. 7. 7. 8. 8. 8. 9. 9. 9. 10. 10. 10. Okay, now repeat after me. I'll say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great job! What comes before 1? Do you know how to say zero in Korean? It's young, but in phone numbers, it's often said kung. Young, kung. Imagine someone tells you a phone number. Can you understand it? Kung il kung, sam il chil o, sa i yuk pal. Now it's time for Amy's insights. As we mentioned earlier. Korean has two systems of counting, the Chinese-based one we are learning now and the native Korean one. The Chinese-based one is easier, so we are learning it first. But we will learn the native Korean counting system in the very next 3분 한국어 lesson. See you then! 다음에 또 만나요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to KoreanClass101.com 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned the most common greetings in Korean. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we are going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. And because you're asking it in Korean, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you're asking, even if their answer is no. Are you ready? Then let's start! Here's the basic way to ask whether someone speaks English. 영어 하세요? 영어 하세요? 영어 means English, and 하세요 means do you do? So 영어 하세요 means do you do English? If you want to be a little more specific and ask about someone's ability to speak English, you can say 영어 할수 있어요? 할수 있어요 means can you do? Can you do English? 영어 할수 있어요? 영어 할수 있어요? This sentence could be very helpful if you're in trouble on the street, in a restaurant, or a hotel. No matter where you are, if you're looking for someone who can speak English, just ask. If you want to be super polite, just add 실례하지만, which means excuse me but. 실례하지만 영어 하세요? Excuse me but do you speak English? 실례하지만 영어 하세요? The response will probably be like one of these three. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 조금이요. Just a little. 조금이요. 아니 못해요. No, I don't. 아니 못해요. Since this last one is a negative statement about ability, we add 못, an adverb meaning can't. 못해요 means I can't. Now it's time for Amy's insights. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can obviously use this question with any language you need. 일본어 for Japanese, 중국어 for Chinese, 스페인어 for Spanish, 독일어 for German, 프랑스어 for French. If you want to say, do you speak German? You can simply replace 영어 with 독일어. 독일어 하세요? Do you speak German? 독일어 하세요? In this lesson, we mentioned the word 실례합니다, meaning excuse me. In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Korean. It's never too late to show your good manners to Korean people. I'll see you in our next 한분 한국어 lesson. 안녕히 계세요. 다음에 봐요. Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to KoreanClass101.com 3분 한국어 The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned the Chinese base numbers from 1 to 10. Have you already forgotten them? I'll tell you again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's great that you can count to 10. But did you know there's a whole other way to do that? That's right. In addition to the numbers based on Chinese characters, there are also the native Korean numbers that we have been using before we even had Chinese characters. Here they are. 하나, 원, 하나. 둘, 두, 둘. 셋, 3, 셋. Net, four, net. Tasot, five, tasot. Yosot, six, yosot. Ilgop, seven, ilgop. Yodar, eight, yodar. Ahop, nine, ahop. Yar, ten, yar. Which one do we use? We use both. Some things are counted using Chinese based numbers and other things using native Korean numbers. For example, when telling time, we say the hour using a native Korean number and the minute using a Chinese-based number. So let's practice these numbers and learn how to say times too. Here's how to say the hour first. 3 o'clock is 3시. 3시. The native Korean number 3 is 3. But we shorten it to 세 when we put it before a counter like 시. The last consonant 시옷 of 세 disappeared when it meets the counting unit. When you add 하나, 1, 둘, 2, 세, 3, 네, 4 with the counting units, the last vowel or consonant of each number will disappear. So 하나 is 1, but 1 o'clock is 한시. When 하나 meets the counting unit 시, the last vowel 아 disappears. 둘 is 2, but 2 o'clock is 두시. The last consonant 리을 disappeared. 넷 is 4, but 4 o'clock is 네시. Same thing here. The last consonant 시옷 disappeared. This rule is only for number 1 to 4. Otherwise, it is simply the Korean number plus 시. 10시, 10 o'clock. 7시, 7 o'clock. Now that you know how to say the hour, let's say the minute. The counter for minutes in Korean is 분. B 
Be sure to use a Chinese-based number with this counter. Do you know how to say 310 in Korean? It's just 3시 10분. 3 in native numbers plus the word for hour. 3시. Then 10 in Chinese numbers. 10. And finally the word for minutes. 분. 3시 10분. A little confusing, right? Don't worry, you will get the hang of it soon enough. Just remember that for hours we use Korean numbers and for minutes we use Chinese numbers. Now it's time for Amy's insights. Here are some other suffixes used to count things. 명 for people, 한 명, 두 명, 번 for the number of times something happens. 한 번, 두 번. In the next lesson, we're finally going to break 10 and learn the numbers from 11 to 100. You definitely don't want to miss it. So join us next time for more 3분 한국어. 다음에 또 만나요. In this video, you will learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in Korean. Hi everybody, my name is Sophie. Welcome to the 800 Core Korean Words and Phrases video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. But there is a twist! With each new lesson in this series, we will include the previous lessons at the end. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning a language. You can also get the full list right now at koreanclass101.com. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences, create your own flashcard deck, and finally, master Korean. Okay, let's get started. First is... 안녕하세요 Hello 안녕하세요 안녕하세요 Hello 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? Hello, how have you been? 안녕하세요. 잘 지냈어요? 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 저기요. Excuse me. 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? Excuse me. How much is this? 저기요. 이거 얼마예요? 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 죄송합니다. I'm sorry. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. I'm sorry. It was a typo. 죄송합니다. 못하였어요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 안녕히 주무세요. 안녕히 주무세요. Good night. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. Good night, Grandma. 할머니, 안녕히 주무세요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 만나서 반가워요. 만나서 반가워요. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 만나서 반가워요. Please come in. Nice to meet you. 들어오세요. 
만나서 반가워요. 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 어떻게 지내세요? 어떻게 지내세요? How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? It's been a long time. How are you? 오랜만이네요. 어떻게 지내세요? 네. Yes. 네. 네. 예스. Yes. 네, 이거로 주세요. 예스, yes, this one please. 네, 이거로 주세요. 아니요. No. 아니요. 아니요. No. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. No, I haven't eaten yet. 아니요, 아직 안 먹었어요. 고마워요. Thank you. 고마워요. 고마워요. Thank you. 초대해줘서 고마워요. Thank you very much for the invitation. 초대해줘서 고마워요. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 소피입니다. 저는 소피입니다. I'm Sophie. 저는 존입니다. I'm John. 저는 존입니다. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 잘 가요. Goodbye. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. Goodbye. See you again. 잘 가요. 또 봐요. 나쁜. Bad. 나쁜. 나쁜 bad 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. Be careful of bad people. 나쁜 사람들을 조심하세요. 좋은 good 좋은 좋은 good 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. My teacher is a good person. 우리 선생님은 좋은 사람입니다. 예쁜 pretty 예쁜, 예쁜, pretty. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. I have a pretty girlfriend. 저는 예쁜 여자친구가 있어요. 못생긴, ugly, 
못생긴 못생긴 ugly 못생긴 얼굴 ugly face 못생긴 얼굴 쉬운 easy 쉬운 쉬운 easy 쉬운 시험 easy exam 쉬운 시험 어려운 difficult 어려운 어려운 difficult 어려운 문제 difficult problem 어려운 문제 가까이에 near 가까이에 가까이에 near 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. I live near the university. 저는 대학교 가까이에 삽니다. 멀리 far 멀리 멀리 far 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. The station is far from here. 역은 여기에서 멀리 있습니다. 작은 small 작은 작은 small 작은 실수 small mistake 작은 실수 Remember, the goal of this series is to build a vocabulary of the 800 most common words and phrases in Korean. If that sounds like a lot, don't worry, we can help you. Click the link in the description to access the full list. You will also get example sentences, custom flashcard decks, and more learning resources at koreanclass101.com. See you next time! 잘 가요! KoreanClass101.com Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we started on the consonants and learned three of them. Today, we are going to add four more consonants and learn how to write more Korean words and phrases. Our first consonant today is Nian. Ni. Ni. Na. Na. No. No. Nya. Nya. Nyo. Nyo. N. N. No. No. N. N. New. 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 You can think of this character's shape as a tongue pressed against teeth, which is what you do when you make this sound. 
Try to make this sound and notice the position of your tongue. With this consonant, you can now write two important Korean pronouns. First, na, which means I or me. Second is, no, which is an informal way to say you. We can also write the question word Dugu, which means who. Next up is Tigut. T. T. Ta. Ta. To. To. Tia. Tia. Tio. Tio. Tu. 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 When you look at the shape, think about the first line as the dirt and the second line as the path of somebody digging. Tigut. Here's another important question word in Korean. Odi, where? Remember that in our last lesson, we added one more stroke to kiok in order to make the aspirated version kiok. We will do the same thing with tikut, adding one more stroke to make the aspirated version tiut. T T Ta Ta To To Tia 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 Tu 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 You can probably guess the meaning of the next word after hearing it. Kita, it means guitar. Korean has many of these words that come from English with a slight change in pronunciation, such as sticko, artist, and tokki. One more consonant today, and that's ryul. Ri, ri, ra, ra. Ro, ro, ria, ria, rio, rio, ru, 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 rio, 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 rio. Its pronunciation falls somewhere between the English L and R. Think about this shape like a marble rolling down a track. Real. Here's one more pronoun that you can write today. Uri, which means we or us. You can use this word for both formal and informal situations. And here's the Korean word for radio, which is almost exactly like English. Let's finish this lesson now with a short dialogue. Yep, you now know enough Hangul in vocabulary words to read and write a short exchange between two people. We've learned these words in the previous lessons. Can you read this? Let's look at the first sentence. The first two syllables are 어디, which means where. We learned that one earlier today. The next two syllables are from last lesson, and they mean I'm going, Kayo. But if you add a question mark and read the last syllable with a rising tone, the whole sentence means, where are you going? 어디 가요? The second sentence ends with the same two characters, but without a question mark, Kayo. And the first two characters is, 휴가, the Korean word for vacation that we learned last lesson. So what do you think the sentence means? 휴가 가요. 
I'm going on vacation. Wow, after only five lessons, you've come a long way. Just think what you will know in another five lessons. But don't forget to take things step by step, reviewing along the way. When you are ready, I'll see you in the next lesson where you will learn even more consonants. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. <목소리도> 안녕하세요, 여러분. KoreanClass101.com 하나하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these four consonants. You now know well over half of the characters in written Korean. And we will learn another three today. Ready? Let's go! Our first character is really easy to remember. It's just a square. Mium. Mi. Mi. Ma. Ma. Mia. Mia. Mo. Mo. Mio. Mio. Mu. 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 Mew, mew, mo, mo, mew, mew. To remember the sound of this character, you could think about the shape of a monitor or an open mouth. Try to read this. Body. This means head. Let's look at this character again. Think of this like a box. Now press the top of it down until the air inside it is under more pressure. What does an mm sound like when it's under more pressure? B. P. P. Pa. Pa. Pia. Pia. Pa. Pa. Pyo, pyo, pu, pu, po, po, pyo, pyo, pu, pu, pyo, pyo. Here's a word you will often hear on Korean TV. Pa po. This means. Full. It can either be playful or rude depending on how it's said. So be careful. Let's go back to our box under pressure. If we add any more pressure, it might explode. And then it would look like this. What's a B sound like with even more pressure? P. 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 Pa, pa, pia, pia, pa, pa, pia, pia, pu, pu, po, po, pio, pio, pu, pu, pio, pio. Try reading this word. Pibu. This means skin. And here is a phrase that you might have to use in Korea. Apayo. It means I'm sick or it hurts. You can use some words from past lessons to make this sentence more advanced. In the last lesson, we learned the word where. Odi. You can add this to the phrase and get 어디 아파요? Literally, it means where does it hurt? And you already know a few body part words. 
Remember the word for head? 머리. So, how would you say your head hurts? We can say, 머리 아파요. My head hurts. Or, I have a headache. Any other body parts we know? It's a little strange, but we just learned the word for skin. 피부. 피부 아파요. My skin hurts. Nice work! You might have started watching to learn the Korean writing system, but you're also getting a jump start on general Korean knowledge. If you haven't tried out the audio lessons on koreanclass101.com, now's a great chance to try out some real-life conversations. And you will learn the final three consonants in the next lesson. You are only one lesson away from knowing all the unique shapes in Korean. After that, it's just a matter of positioning those shapes around to create different words. Be sure not to miss the next lesson of Hana Hana Hangul. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 만나요. KoreanClass101.com, Hana Hana Hangul Series' Amy. Hi, everybody. I'm Amy, and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and KoreanClass101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these three consonants, only three more basic characters left, and we will learn them all in this lesson. All three of today's characters are related in shape and in sound. We will start with the simplest one, 시읒. 시, 시, 사, 사, 서, 서, 샤, 샤, 셔, 셔, 스, 스, 소, 소. 수, 수, 쇼, 쇼, 슈, 슈. It's pronounced s, and you can think of the shape like an upside down seesaw. Here's a short sentence which means I buy. 사요. You can make this sentence more complex by putting a noun in front of it. So, note. Is note. I buy notes. Would be note 사요. 우유. 면 milk. So, I buy milk. Would be 우유 사요. We will learn some new nouns in this lesson that we can put into this pattern. The next character is like 시읒 with a line at the top, and it's pronounced 즈 or 츠. 지, 지, 자, 자, 저, 저, 자, 자, 저, 저. 지지 조조 주주 조조 주주 You might see this character written this way depending on which typeface is used. So be ready for it. Now you can write lion in Korean. 사자 to write the last basic character, just add another stroke on top of the z. This is chiut. Chi chi. Cha cha. Cho cho. Cha cha. Cho cho. Chi chi. 초, 초, 주, 주, 초, 초, 
Chu. Chu. Here's car in Korean. Ta. And here's cheese. Cheese. We can combine cheese with the sentence we learned earlier, sayo, to make cheese sayo. I buy cheese. What else can you buy? Moja sayo. I buy a hat. Cha sayo. I buy a car. Paji sayo. I buy pants. Chima sayo. I buy a skirt. You've learned all the basic characters, but your hunger journey doesn't end here. You now have all the raw materials, but there's still more to learn about putting things together. Don't worry, you've made it this far, so just stick with me a few more lessons and you will know everything there is to know about hunger. In the next lesson, we'll do a thorough review of the last six lessons and smooth out any problems you may be having and learn a few points about pronunciation. See you next time! 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요! Hi everybody, I'm Amy. Welcome to koreanclass101.com's 3분 한국어. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Korean. In the last lesson, we learned how to introduce ourselves in Korean. Today, we're going to learn how to use good manners as we thank people. Are you ready? Then let's start. There are several ways to thank someone. Let's start with the most common phrase, 감사합니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다 means I do thanks or thank you. To say thank you very much, you just need to add 대단히, which means very much or greatly. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 감사합니다. 대단히 means greatly. So 대단히 감사합니다. It's like saying, thank you very much. In the last lesson, we saw that Korean has formal and informal ways of speaking. 감사합니다 is pretty formal. If you want to thank someone more casually, you can use a shorter phrase. 고마워. 고마워. Let's break down those phrases. In the formal way of saying thank you, 감사합니다. 감사 means thank you. And 합니다 is a formal way to say to do. So 감사합니다 means I do thanks. And to make it less formal, we swap out 감사 with a different verb. That's 고마워. It has the same meaning of thank you, but it's more friendly. When someone thanks you, how should you answer? There's no set response like you're welcome in English. But there are a few things that you can say. The first thing is, 아니에요. 아니에요. You literally are saying no. But this is a common and informal way to respond to someone thanking you. You're telling the person that there's nothing to bother thanking you for. There's another phrase that's used to respond to thank you in Korean. 천만해요. 천만해요. But it's not used all that often. You're better off with 아니에요 in most situations. Now it's time for Amy's insights. 감사합니다 sounds formal. 고마워 sounds informal. What if you want to sound kind of formal but still kind of friendly? In that case, you can upgrade the informal 고마워 to 고마워요. You see, you simply add 요 at the end. Yo is the sentence ending particles that make sentences more polite. This is a nice way to thank your waiter. 고마워요. Have you ever heard the phrase 안녕히 계세요 before? In our next lesson, you will learn this and more greetings in Korean. 여러분 감사합니다. 다음에 봐요.
if you've ever wanted to sing Korean songs, write a letter in Korean, be able to get around in Korea, or just jumpstart your Korean learning, you're in the right place, even if you're an absolute beginner to Korean. By the time you're done with this series, you'll be able to read and write Hangul like a pro. And you'll get a feel for Korean culture and learn some vocabulary at the same time. We will start by covering the 10 vowels and 14 consonants of written Korean. As you learn these components, you will also get plenty of practice writing and reading them with example words. Then we will talk about double consonants and vowels, the pachim, and the pronunciation rules that will help you speak like a native. By the end of this series, you will be able to understand the language on a whole new level and have completed an important milestone in mastering Korean. Hana Hana means step by step in Korean. And that's just how we're going to tackle the Hangul. Just watch these videos, review what you've learned using the resources on koreanclass101.com. And you're on your way to mastering Hangul. We will start with some very good news. Hangul is easy. For one thing, it has much fewer characters than, say, Japanese or Chinese. There are only 24. We use these 24 characters in different combinations to form syllables. Each block of characters equals one syllable. Here's an important rule you need to know about these blocks. Each block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. You will see what we mean when we start to look at some characters. In Hangul, there are 10 vowels and 14 consonants. Today, you will learn two of the vowels and one consonant. Are you ready? Your first vowel is E. 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 This is pretty easy, right? Practice writing this character as you say the pronunciation out loud. As you say this simple sound, it might surprise you to know that you're actually saying a Korean word. This word means teeth, e. So how would you write this word? Like this? Nope. Remember the rule we mentioned earlier? Every block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. But in this case of e, there is no consonant, so instead we put a placeholder. The circle called an ion acts as a placeholder for the consonant. So whenever you have a vowel on its own, this placeholder comes before it. Draw the E vowel to the right of the placeholder. So when you want to write the word E or the syllable E in the middle of another word, this is how you would write it. Pretty easy so far, right? Now, if you take the last character and add a short stroke to the right side, it becomes your second vowel, a. Ah. 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 As you practice the pronunciation, try to associate the sound with the character. Writing it while saying it really helps. Pop quiz, with what you know so far, try to figure out how to write this Korean word. A E. Once more, A E. This is the character you just learned, followed by the first character you learned today. Remember what we learned about the placeholders? You need to put the placeholder circles next to each vowel sound when they stand on their own. And that's how you write A E, which is the Korean word for child. A E. Are you starting to get the hang of it? You've just finished your first Hangul lesson, and you've learned three of the 24 basic characters. In the next lesson, you will learn three more. Keep taking it hana hana step by step, and keep practicing with koreanclass101.com. You will be surprised how fast you master Korean writing. 여러분, 다음에 만나요. You're off to a great start on your Korean language journey. Just take this lesson step by step. Make sure you review after each one, and soon you will be reading Korean like a pro. Here's a great way to review what you've learned. Look at some actual Korean writing. You may not know the meanings or most of the characters, 
but practice recognizing what you have learned. After each lesson, you'll recognize a little bit more. Today, you're going to learn three more vowels. Let's get started. First, here are the characters you learned in the last lesson. A, I, and Yung. Your next character looks pretty similar, so pay attention to the differences. A, Listen carefully to the pronunciation. Oh. Oh. Now pay attention to these two characters. It might be easy to confuse the two. If the small strokes is on the left, it is a. Uh. Oh. Oh. If it is on the right, it is a. Uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. If you can remember this one point, the rest of this lesson will be easy. The next character is this. Ya. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. Yo. Yo. This sound has a lot in common with the last character sound, doesn't it? The only difference is the Y sound in ya. The second short stroke will add a Y sound. You will see this pattern pop up again in the next character. So if this is a, what would this character be? Can you guess? The answer is ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. The second short stroke will add a Y sound. Take a look at these four similar characters together. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Yo. Yo. Ya. Ya. Can you remember these characters? Here are a few vocabulary words to practice. Can you read this word? This is ya, which is an informal way to say hey in Korean. You might hear this word in Korean drama or songs. Ya. How about this? This is aya, which means ouch. Great job. You made it through another lesson. And now know half of the vowels in Korean. Keep practicing and soon we will be able to read Korean quickly and naturally. Remember this from the beginning of the lesson? After just three more vowels, you should be able to recognize much more of it. Try to recognize these characters in some real-life Korean around you. In the next lesson, you will learn the rest of the vowels. In the meantime, keep reviewing what you've learned, and I'll see you later. 여러분, 다음에 다시 만나요. In this lesson, you'll finish up the Korean vowels. With a solid understanding of the 10 vowel sounds, pronouncing Korean will become really easy. So make sure to review until you feel completely confident. Compare these five new vowels to the five you already know. What's the obvious difference? The answer is that the vowels we learned before all have a long vertical stroke, and these new vowels have a long horizontal stroke. In fact, if you rotated the first five vowels, you would end up with the new vowels we're going to learn today. When writing syllables in Korean, it's important to think about whether the vowel you're using is a tall vowel or a fat vowel. The reason is that the way you assemble the characters into blocks will change depending on the shape of the vowel. For example, you know what to do when the vowel is tall, right? You add the consonant to the left of the vowel. But if the vowel is fat, you would add the consonant on top. Think about it like this. You need to fill up a square so the consonant adjusts to fill the rest of the space. Here is your first fat vowel, O. 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 Here's a good way to remember this one. The small stroke is over the long stroke, O. Flip that character over and you get the next vowel, U. 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 You can remember this pronunciation by thinking of the small stroke being under the large stroke. How about some vocabulary words? Can you read this word? 
This is ui, which means cucumber. How about this word? This is yao, which means fox. You now know four vowels that are made from a long stroke and a short stroke. Take a look at them together. From the top going clockwise, you have o, u, a, a, u, u, o, o. When you add another short stroke, a Y sound is added to the front of these sounds. Add another short stroke to U and it becomes Yo. 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 Likewise, take U and add another short stroke and it becomes Yu. 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 Can you read these four vowels now? Counterclockwise from the top. Yo. Yo. Yo, yo, you, you, ya, ya. One more. U. 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 The shape of this vowel actually resembles the shape of your mouth when you say it. Now, for some example words, can you read this? This is uyu which means milk. And this? This is yo. It's a formal sentence ending particle. You put it at the end of a sentence to make it polite. For example, uyu yo. How about this word? It's iyu, which means reason. There you go. You've just learned all the basic vowels in Korean. These vowels will appear in every single syllable of Korean. So the more you know them now, the easier future lessons will be. In the next lesson, you will start learning consonant sounds. This is where your Korean ability will really start to take off. So be sure to watch the next lesson at koreanclass101.com. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. 안녕하세요, Amy예요. 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. In this series, 한분 한국어, we are going to learn basic Korean expressions. It's super easy and it takes only three minutes. First of all, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Korean. There are a few different ways to do it depending on how formal you want to be. Let's first look at an informal way to introduce yourself. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Hi, I'm Amy. Nice to meet you. 안녕, Amy야. 반가워. Here, 안녕 means peace. So literally, you say peace to say hello in Korean. Next, you can say your name, then add the sentence ending particle, 야. My name is Amy, so I say, Amy야. Finally, you say, 반가워. 반가워 means nice to meet you. Now you try it. Start by saying 안녕, then say your name, followed by 야. If your name is David, you can say 데이비드야. Finally say 반가워. 안녕 데이비드야, 반가워. Now let's see a formal version. 안녕하세요, 에이미예요, 반가워요. Hi, I'm Amy, nice to meet you. 안녕하세요, 에이미예요. 반가워요. What has changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a close look at these together. First, 안녕 has to change to 안녕하세요. 하세요 is the verb meaning to do. If you add 하세요 next to 안녕, it becomes more formal and polite. 안녕하세요. Next, you can replace the particle 야 with 에요. Both of them are sentence ending particles, and you can put them after nouns. But ya is informal, and eyo is formal. So if you say eyo instead of eyo ya, you can introduce your name in more formal way. Finally, pangawayo. Do you remember how to say nice to meet you in the informal way? 
Hanga wo. Here, you can simply add the particle yo at the end of the verb. Then it becomes formal. Yo is a particle that can make a sentence polite. Panga wo yo. One more time. The formal way to introduce yourself is 안녕하세요, Amy예요, 반가워요. The informal way to introduce yourself is 안녕, Amy야, 반가워. Now it's time for Amy's insights. When you introduce yourself in Korea, it's polite to make a small bow. If you're a guy, bow with your hands at your sides. If you're a girl, bow with your hands in front of you. Bow from the waist. You don't have to dip down very far. Do you know how to say thank you in Korean? You will learn how to say this and many other words in the next lesson. 다음에 봐요. See you then. In this lesson, you will begin to add the consonants to the 10 vowels you've already learned. By the end, you'll be able to read and write 40 different syllables, which will unlock many more Korean words. Ready for your first consonant? Here it is. Giyok. When making syllables, the consonant goes where the circle from the last lessons used to go. Can you guess how these are read? Ki. Ki. Ka Ka Kya Kya Ko Ko Kyo Kyo Ku 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 Ko Ko Kyo Kyo Remember how some Korean vowels look and sound similar? For example, add another stroke to a and you get ya. The same thing happens with the consonants. In this case, add one more stroke to our last character and we get a very similar sound, kya. Ki. Ki. Ka. Ka. Kya. Kya. Ko Ko Kyo Kyo Ku Ku Ko Ko Kyo Kyo Ku Ku Kyu Kyu Can you hear the difference? Ki 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 The difference is subtle, but it's there. If you're having a hard time, don't worry. We will go into the details of pronunciation in lesson 8. So don't miss it. One more consonant today. Hyut. He. He. Ha. Ha. Hya. Hya. Ha. Ha. Hyo. Hyo. Hu Hu Ko Ko Hyo Hyo Hu Hu Hyu Hyu You can think of this shape as a hat on a hat, which might help you remember the pronunciation. Now it's time for a few simple words. Can you read all of this correctly? How about this phrase? It's yogyo. It means here please or excuse me. Use it while you are in a Korean restaurant and you want to call the waiter over to your table. Yogyo. And this one. It's kayo. This means I'm going. How about this word? Hyuga. It means vacation. To create a more complex sentence, 휴가 가요. 
and going on vacation. After just four lessons, you're already writing sentences in Korean. Just think what you can learn in a few more. Be sure to watch the next lesson on koreanclass101.com. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.